meditation time. It is so much of an honor to have you spending just a few minutes of your, your day with me. Um, if meditation is something that is new for you, I first and foremost want to tell you this is a meditation practice. This is not something that we ever get good at. This is not something that we try to master or perfect. We show up and as long as we show up and we try our best to be present, we are going to be able to live a life that is so much more vibrant and filled with vitality than if we had not shown up. And if you can keep that in mind, it will truly be um, a good use of your time. So I want you to be somewhere comfortable. The most important thing to your meditation practice is not the kind of place where you are or the kind of darkness or quiet. It is your physical comfort of your body. So what I want you to do is be somewhere that's comfortable. I want you to sit either nice and tall and just kind of relax where you are. I want you to lie down. You be where it feels good for you. Because the mind is going to try to distract us enough that we don't need the body to distract us as well. So let's get comfortable wherever you are. And then if it feels right, go ahead and gently close your eyes. And throughout the month of September, it is Yoga Awareness Month, and I can't think of anything better to focus our awareness on than that. And so throughout these next few days, I'm gonna spend our meditation time and my own personal meditation time as well, focused on gratitude. Because people think that your yoga practice gives you flexibility and strength and stamina and all these other physical things, but what it truly gives you is a spirit of gratitude. You learn to be grateful for the inhale that fills you up and you learn to be grateful for the exhale that gives you release. And then over time, the gratitude shifts to other things. And so we're gonna spend just these few minutes that we have today beginning to set an intention of gratitude. You don't have to wait till November or a holiday or when we're on the receiving end of something. We can have a sense of gratitude with every breath we take. So as we've settled in together, let's start to take a breath slow and deep. And then an exhale full and complete. And again, an inhale slow and deep. And an exhale that is complete. One more slow, deep inhale. Full, complete exhale. And then you just continue with the rhythm that feels good for you. If that pace feels right, you keep it up. If you need to slow it down, then you slow it down. If you need to go a little, I'm not going to say faster, but with a little more rhythm, you do that and just be right where you are in your space. And I wanna just read to you a few words that will frame these few minutes that we have. They're from an amazing lady, Melody Beatty, and she tells us that gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. Listen to that again as you're sitting wherever you are in your home in this moment, listen. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and even more. And so in this moment, I wanna go on with a few more of her words and then add some of mine to frame our time. She says, it turns denial into acceptance. It turns chaos into order. It turns confusion into clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. And for our time for these few minutes, I wanna add a line to that. Gratitude can also turn a former judgment about ourselves into an appreciation. And that's the focus of these minutes that we're gonna share. So as you're seated there, seated there or lying there, wherever you are in this moment, I want us to focus on the physical realm of who we are. You wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, you pass by a window, you check a reflection, you look at old pictures, you compare to how you are now. 
over and over again, we get memories on our phone of years that have gone by. But I want us in this moment with a sense of gratitude to turn a former judgment of ourselves into an appreciation. And so let's just sit for just a moment and just reflect on what do you see when you look in the mirror? What kind of strength do you feel in your physical being? What kind of flexibility? What kind of stability do you feel? What kind of stamina do you have physically? What do you see on your face? On the backs of your hands? Across your shoulders? The color of your hair? And so just sit for just a second, each of us in our own space quietly. What do you see? when you see you. And just maintain where you are with your eyes closed or looking down. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about how you see yourself. Because if I asked you to make a list of all the things you want to fix and improve and make better, you could write me a list for days. But if I asked you to begin to write down all the things you like about yourself physically, I fear there would be a pause. And in years past, there would have been a pause for me. And now if someone were to stop me on the street and ask me, Tell me something physical about you that you appreciate. I could talk and talk and talk. And so what I want us to do in this moment that we get to share, in a moment we'll become quiet. What I want us to do is think about the things that we've judged about ourselves in the past. Maybe the past was this morning. Maybe it was last week. Maybe it was a year ago. Something about yourself that you've judged that you want to learn to appreciate. Now I can't tell you by the time we close our minutes out tonight that we're all gonna appreciate it just yet, but we'll have a new commitment. And so just think, what's something about you that you have judged about the physical realm of you? Just think for just a second, what would it be? And as you sit quietly, I'm going to share mine with you. As I crossed that 50 year mark a couple years ago, it would be really easy to think of all the things that aren't right where I want them to be at this time in my life. But I can tell you that now, when I look in the mirror and I see the little lines around my eyes and I see the little age spots that are starting to puff up on my temples, I don't judge them. I appreciate them beyond words because when I see them, I see my mother. And my reflection of this aging woman reminds me of the woman that she was. So for you, just think, what have I judged about myself physically that I want to learn to appreciate? Not. What am I gonna make better or change the shape or the size of? No, tonight in this moment, what have I judged about myself that I want to learn to appreciate? And we're gonna sit for a couple minutes of quiet. You with your thoughts, me with mine. And what I want you to do is in meditation, our goal is to remain present. And if you find that your mind starts to drift away and you make a list of other things that are not about this, just drift right back. Don't get frustrated and think that you failed. You've done this wrong. But if your mind goes somewhere else besides the thing that you want to appreciate, either come back to that thing or come back to paying attention to your breath.
And now across these couple minutes, you with your thought, me with mine. From where you are, take a deep breath in and slowly let it go. Another deep breath in and slowly let it go. Gratitude turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion to clarity, a meal to a feast, a house to a home, a stranger to a friend and it has the power to turn a former judgment about myself into something that I can authentically and every day appreciate. Take that appreciation with you as you leave these moments. The judgment will come back. Your mind will begin to wonder. You'll judge again, but you'll remember this moment and that sense of gratitude will begin to take over and its magical healing power will remind you, let the judgment go and begin to appreciate. And as you begin on that journey, you will begin to see the amazing, vital, unique, crazy human that you are. And there is no better gift. Namaste. Hmm.